we're going to look at what factors are. You may have heard them in your lessons or in your studies, but what actually are factors? You may have heard it in a conversation where someone says, ah, oh, there are many factors to this situation. Uh, we should consider all the different factors. Factors are like parts that go into the whole situation. And in maths, a factor of a number is a part of that number that goes exactly into the bigger number. Let's have an example. What are the factors of 18? So all the factors of 18. Well, what numbers can you think if you multiplied them could get you 18? Now we're dealing only with whole numbers called integers. We're not dealing with decimals like 1.5 times by whatever to get um, 18. Uh, a decimal is not uh, a factor. I can think of perhaps a simple one. 1 times by 18. That gets me 18. So that means that 1 and 18 are both factors of 18. They both go into 18. So they are factors. Looks like cherries. Let's do another one. I can think, let's just go up by uh, 1 each time. So let's do 2 times by 9. That equals 18. So you guessed it. 2 and 9 are both factors of 18. I should be drawing it really to go to the 18, but you get the idea. I wonder if I filled it in. Would that look kind of pretty? Do do do. 1, 18, 2. Whoopsie daisy. Anyway, 1, 18, 2, and 9. How about if we go up by 1, 3 times by 6? Well, that gets me 18. Yes, that does indeed mean that 3 and 6 are factors of 18. And actually, we'll almost come to the crossover point because 4 doesn't go into 18 and 5 doesn't go into. So you notice there can't be any more factors because now we're just going to get back to 6 times by 3 and we're done 6 and 3. So we have the 6 factors of 18. They are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Can you think of the f all the factors of 24? All the factors of 24. Again, let's start from the beginning. So 1 times by 24 equals 24. 2 times by 12 equals 24. 3 times by 8 equals 24. 4 times by 6 equals 24. Now 5 doesn't go into 24, and if we go to 6, we're back to where we began with. So we've got the 8 factors of 24. The 8 factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, um, 12, oops, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Those are the 8 factors of 24. The last one we're going to do in terms of factors is the number 60. Now I picked that number on purpose because this is actually the reason why it was invented as the number of seconds in a minute and the number of minutes in an hour because it's a number that goes so it go, so many numbers go into 60 it makes it very easy to divide and split up into different parts. You can find many different factors of the number 60. Let's test that. So 60, and let's find all the different factors of 60. Let's start it off. What would we begin with? 1, yeah, times 60 equals 60. 2 times by 30 equals 60. 3 times by 20 oops, equals 60. 4 times by 15 equals 60. 5 times by 12. You're starting to see just why 60 was chosen as a number that has so many different factors. 
and 6 times by 10 is also 60. 7 doesn't go into 60, 8 doesn't go into 60, 9 does not go into 60, and 10, we're back to 10 times 6 again. So there we have the 12 different factors of 60, and they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. And there we have it. Those are the factors. And in life, it's always good to look at all the different factors in a given situation.